Hey, welcome to Tarmac. I'm Dave. I'm Matthew and behind me here is a little rocket that they call the Mercedes-Benz GLC 63 AMG. That's right, it's Mercedes new respectable thug and we can't wait to get our hands on it. Come, let's take a look at this. <laughs> So the mid-sized SUV, which is the GLC, needs no in introduction, so I won't really waste your time or bore you on there. There are five in the uh, in the lineup, beginning with the 200 and finishing up on this one, particularly in the SUV side of things. There is the coupe style, which has three, again, beginning with the 200 and finishing with the 63. This one comes directly out of the box, so there's actually, for once, no real additions to this. But let's take a little bit of a closer look as to what you get. Being AMG comes with the 17 slat grille. Uh, this really just typifies that it's part of the AMG family. Plenty of air vents, making sure that plenty of air gets into this big engine, which I'll talk about in a minute. This one over here, hugely open, straight into the intercooler. Nice, nice front balance. It's a, it's a really good looking front end. Really, actually overall, the car looks quite menacing, but not as menacing as the engine, which again, we'll get to in a minute. Down the side, 21 inch AMG uh, alloys. Look at these big brake calipers in red back there, making sure you know again, AMG. Nice extended surround, so lovely wheel arch around here. That runs here and on the back, and also nice run, low running boards. This is the SUV style rather than the coupe style, so you get a bit more of a, of a squarish tail end which obviously inside gives you a little bit more headroom and a little bit more trunk space, which is, you know, always good. It's got a kicker tailgate, which gives you access to this much boot space. It's also got these buttons here. These buttons here lift and lower the tailgate so you can put in heavy objects or difficult objects without stressing your back. Roofline spoiler all important AMG badge and also the 63S badge <laughs> both of those are what you want LED tail lights big rear diffuser quad exhaust which interestingly enough are not quite attached to the sports exhaust which I just love anyway but what is attached to the sports exhaust is this engine let's take a look at that a 4 litre bi turbo powerhouse this thing gives you 375 kilowatts, 700 newton meters of torque. It will propel this mild-mannered mild SUV from 0 to 100 in 3.8 seconds. That's phenomenal. As you can see, there's not much room under here. So Omar Osbeck, who actually handcrafted this one, obviously he's got small fingers. <laughs> Speaking of small fingers, let's go inside and Matthew will show you all around there. I wonder what Dave was saying about my fingers. They look all right, actually, but they are actually the perfect size for operating all the many buttons and especially the AMG buttons. I'll get to that in a minute. But the first thing that you recognize with this interior is just how much leather there is. I mean, the seats are covered in leather and you do get a bit of white Alcantara going through as well. The dashboard is covered in leather and everywhere else that you don't find leather, you'll find soft plastics. You know, I love those. What's cool with the AMG package, or I guess the AMG version, is the fact that you get these AMG seats, you get the AMG logo actually embossed onto the headdress, that looks excellent. You get this, the AMG steering wheel. Another thing that you'll see that's different with this AMG as compared to the other ones that we've reviewed previously is the fact that you don't get that combined dashboard and infotainment screen in the front of the driver. It's sort of they've integrated it into the current setting so you still have digital dials over here but they are separated from that infotainment screen which by the way now comes with the hey mercedes function what do you want to do going with the glc 63 amg you get these two new icons on the screen you get the track pace button the amg track pace button and if you click that it'll tell you very much so that it is for track use only and it'll tell you where your local track is. We're quite far from it so probably won't let us go into this mode. But using this you can 
set up your car for an optimum drag time you can look at all the various telemetry like your g-forces and stuff like that and the next icon is the AMG performance one now clicking into that you can select your drivetrain mode you can select the engine mode the suspension settings all those sort of things the screens may be separated but that screen in front of you is still very much part of the new Mercedes-Benz setup and you can toggle through there using the using the mouse on here you can look at all sorts of details including your fuel consumption for some reason it is an AMG car you can even change the design of the screen there by clicking the button that says design so right now we're in super sport which gives you a large rev meter and the speed in the center but you can go down to sport for example and or even classic which gives you the traditional two dial sort of look back to the steering wheel it's a bit of alcantara there for optimum grip if you like when you're on the track but you get these two buttons this button right here changes the drive mode settings so right now we're in comfort and if I turn that we go into sport and then once more and we're into sports plus and instantly you can hear the exhaust become a little bit louder and the body start to stiffen up a little bit speaking of which you can moving on to the left side you can press that button to get to adjust the exhaust note so again you can toggle through sports plus and comfort and the other button on here engages the traction control it's looking like a good recipe on paper but how does it put its power down to the road well let's take a drive and find out So the Mercedes-Benz GLC 63S, this is the SUV your mother warned you about and your daddy pushed you on to getting. It's a nice and tame, lovely, relaxed, slightly hard riding machine when you're not pushing it or changing uh, driving modes. But the moment you push up to Sport, Sport Plus, or Track Mode or Race Mode, <laughs> Oh, how brakes wow. loose, it's awesome! <laughs> and relax. <laughs> oh. It snapples and crocks and cracks and all those other noises that you just want in a bi turbo machine. What do you reckon? We actually tried this, I guess, this acceleration test earlier in Sport Plus mode, and the power then is delivered fiercely but also in a linear fashion, so you don't get kicked in the gut. But as soon as you turn it into race mode, it kicks you in the gut real hard that's the mode that will take you to 103.8 seconds that's the fast mode um, what a lovely mode it is because it really does excite and just get you rocking and rolling which is what you'd want to have in an AMG race mode really unleashes the AMG badge frankly because it's loud it's crackles and pops and it accelerates really hard and just an assault on the senses <laughs> assault it embraces the senses look the GLC is a lovely family wagon it's around town it's uh, you know from a range point of view it's probably just about right for my size three or four of us family it's you know fits in nicely with our lifestyle and also you know takes on a long run it's fine and around town it's fine for the extra let's say 100k <laughs> you get AMs, AMG to mess with it and throw in just this monstrous engine 700 Newton meters of torque is just tons for this size of vehicle and 375 kilowatts is again massive it's also got the competence of the Formatic Plus system and it just loves corners, loves to go fast and with that sports exhaust loves to yell too. I mean the GLC is one of the smallest SUVs in the AMG family and the fact is that with the AMG package the car is actually lowered and it sits really hunkered down so it's almost like a slightly raised wagon but the handling and the way it corners is just immense it just grips so hard the flared arches again not well flared 
the extended arch is a great the fact that it rev matches on the way down as it changes down in gear ah oh, it just oh, it's a sports car it's a sports car for when you get rid of the family <laughs> for the passenger here you do tend to slide around a little bit it is an suv so you do get a little bit of body roll here and there but for the most part you will find yourself really sort of hunkered down in this seat and these leather bolsters do a good job in, of keeping you in place most of the time they do it's comfortable you can switch off the exhaust you can dumb it down but why would you want to i really like the uh integration of the hay i won't say the other word but the hay m uh it's the mbux system is is great it you can change the ambient lighting you can put on your seats the you can change the radio station all without having to hunt around or take your eyes off the road because you're going to be wanting to spend quite a lot of time keeping your eyes on the road luckily for us me and dave pretty much like the same kind of music so um <laughs> there's no going back and forth in between changing radio stations with our voices this car bites it really does bite if you stamp down on the accelerator in um, race mode or even sports plus mode it really does make noise and oh, just wakes up the neighborhood I mean you can hear the sound of those exhausts echoing all around and even in the cabin it doesn't seem like they've piped in too much of sound but you don't need them to pipe in so much sound because it just sounds amazing. It doesn't just sound amazing as well, it feels amazing. Wow, this is a great car. And it is something definitely to distract you from the fact that the sus suspension is set up quite hard, even in comfort mode. It doesn't really make a big difference between comfort and sports plus as we've seen, but that's something you'll get used to. This is one of those cars that really hits the sweet spot of practicality, performance and just out out and out exhilaration um, you can't help yourself but stamp on it and make it yell and scream I mean this is gonna make your cops come and take your license <laughs> they might as well just park around your place <laughs> it is gonna get you into a fair bit of trouble even when you don't intend to So there you have it, the Mercedes AMG GLC 63S, their top of the range mid-sized SUV that has so much bite. I mean, it just does everything. It's fairly comfortable around town, but when you want it to, it's savage and it's noisy and it's everything you want a performance SUV to be. Yep, and for those that don't know or like what performance SUVs are, take one of these for a drive. It's going to change your whole viewpoint on it. It certainly will. And it looks the part too, not to forget. Yeah, uh, it's sort of a, a wolf in wolf's clothing. Well, semi-wolf's clothing, I guess. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified every time we make a new video. See ya.